Do you know how thermal power works? First, two truckloads of coal are brought in and transported on a conveyor belt to the coal crusher. The pulverized coal is sent to a coal hopper, and below the hopper is the coal feeder, which controls the amount of coal entering the boiler. Next, the coal is sent to the crusher, where it is ground into pulverized coal to ensure that it is fully burned. Pulverized coal is then blown into the boiler furnace by a pulverized coal blower. The heat from the combustion boils the water and forms a great deal of steam. Steam at temperatures up to 600 degrees Celsius is first fed into a high-pressure turbine to drive the turbine shaft. In the process, the steam loses some of its temperature and pressure. The remaining steam is then fed into a low-pressure turbine to use the waste heat. The heat generated by the steam is converted into rotating mechanical energy that drives a generator to generate electricity at 3,000 revolutions per minute. After being boosted by a transformer and connected to the grid, electricity can be transferred outside. Steam, leaving the turbine, condenses back water through cooling pipes, which can be returned to the boiler for recycling. As for the burned coal ash, it falls to the bottom of the boiler, where it is collected.